here. Fire up all the engines. I, that, that's Fire what I was. I was, I was. I was. I was. I was uh, debating on what. Uh, what intro music to have. I really wish I had some fun jazz. Mm. Cause doesn't this book feel like jazz? It Yeah. You know, now that you mention it, it definitely does have kind of let Well, jazz is pretty big, but it has a chaotic Wait. rhythm to it. Maybe I'm just crazy about jazz right now <laughs> <laughs> but uh projecting it on there maybe i am no, i can like, definitely see so it's definitely no lyrics to the music yeah very very oh i just it's it's bubbly, bubbly? yeah it's got a lot of energies to it energies energies hi energies 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 hi and welcome to seattle's i've got energy seattle's number one comic book podcast the podcast that's dedicated to the first issue of your next favorite comic, and I'm Larry. I'm James. Episode 116 of our yeah. big show. Uh, big show tonight, too, and this is, a, this is a fun one. This is Jim Henson's Tale of Sand. Yeah, it's a good one. The lost screenplay of Jim Henson and Jerry Jewell. Jewell. As realized. as realized. Yeah, I liked how they said that, as realized by, instead of illustrated by. Raymond Perez. Okay. Raymond and K. colors and colors by Raymond Perez and Ian Herring. The le- the colors in this. I I see why they needed two people. Oof. This book is so so it's, good. It's got so many layers to it. So many different styles going all at once that like and it blends so well together. Oh my goodness, we're going to be talking about this art all over the place, but Laird, before we get into Tale of Sand, which may or may not be my next favorite comic, <laughs> uh, do you have anything recent and decent for us? I do, I do, I do. This one is called... Oh, let's get some recent and decent music here. This is Wolverine, The Long Night. Oh. Now, does that oh. sound like a great comic book? Wait, is that the is that a podcast? It's better than that. It's a podcast. It's better than a comic book. It's a podcast. It's a scripted 10 episode podcast from Marvel. And yeah, it's, I heard about this. I've listened to the first episode and it is good. It's like, "Who? What's that over there?" So, here it is. The setup is a uh, a town with a possible serial killer in this town and they found the bodies with slash marks in them yeah good stuff mm. i am um, like the sound effects are great the production is so good i am really grooving on it like i said i've only listened to the first episode so it's an episode comic book done in podcast style it's is it is it like done in old radio style yeah old like, radio style clomp 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 like the old clomp. superman <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. And oh, it, that's so cool. It is, there should be more like storytelling podcasts. Maybe it, there are, but I just don't know about them. I, I know it's that, such a great v- vehicle. It is. It is. It's fun. I, I I used to listen to Prairie Home Companion with all that fun, like mm. radio. Old old timey radio is a thing, and 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 yeah. and and uh, and you gotta make do the art yourself in your mind. Yeah, and and like the 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 sound effects are great. I think they're doing a great job, and I'm looking forward to this deeper and deeper mystery as to who or what um, is doing the uh, murdering in this little atta- or a little uh, Alaskan town. It's good stuff. It's called uh, awesome. It's called uh, Wolverine: The Long Night. I, I I wanted to just say it was the long night, and then let you guess, but mm. uh, nope, it's Wolverine. Wolverine. Does Wolverine have a good gruff voice? Uh, you know, I haven't got to the Wolverine character yet. Oh, okay. It's so just they're really the, laying just, it out. It's just a setup. Cool. All right, let's dive into some fun comics some Tale here. of Sand. Tale of Sand. All right. Uh, and it's Jim Henson. For those of you who don't know, he's the creator of the Muppets, but this is nothing like the Muppets, except for maybe in its craziness. Craziness, crazy. The Muppets are crazy. I've seen every yeah, episode not, of the Muppets. <laughs> this isn't really, you know, the, I would recommend it for children except for one scene. 
one page, maybe even. Yeah, one page. But I mean, it, and when I hit that page, I was like, ah, oh, why did he do this? Because I really want to. I I love it when I can recommend something to everybody. But uh, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Um. Now, I'm uh, just a, a, as a side note to this. Mm. I love this. I love that Comixology has put this out mm-hmm. uh, 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 unlimited. So if you're a subscriber, you got this. Yeah, but so worth. the hardcover copy of this with the purple little uh, uh, stretchy string that helps you keep your page. Oh yeah, it's got one of those. So gorgeous! It's got rounded edges on the. Um, on the uh, on the uh, on the edging, like mm-hmm. so, uh, so it's not a square bound. It's got a little bit of a round edge to it, and mine has got Raymond Perez's uh, um, very artistic autograph, right to me, to Larry. Oh, awesome! Two thousand and two, he signed it for me. Uh, wow! And uh, he's got a cool he's got a cool um, signature, but. Uh, this 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 packaging is like if again like I I know that James has given out a few uh, copies of the things that we've done you know some good stuff you know like a good graphic novel mm-hmm. this is a gift book this is a gift I, okay, you could give awesome. somebody who doesn't read comics and if you found like packaging that wasn't that was better than this I would be I would be surprised it is so cool That's to look good at That's good good to hear cuz this is definitely one of the books that I will give as a gift because it's not only is it accessible it's not like a stereotypical comic book but I think it's the best art I've seen It's fantastic art I'll say it's definitely the best colorized art I've seen So let's get into uh, it Yeah and so, and it's one where the cover Usually the cover is the best art. I think the cover page might be the the least impressive art on this in this book. It's a, it's a bit of a throwaway, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Cuz on the cover we see this guy and he's kind of looking over. He's in a desert area and he's kind of looking from atop a bluff and it's it looks like oh the inside might be like a black and white with a colorized like a, a not a gray scale but a uh, color skit, like one one color. What do you call that? Monochromatic. Right. Uh, but then you get inside, and I I actually spent the time and read this. There's a bit of a foreword about Jim Henson, and it's it's written over the original script. So this was originally supposed to be a film uh, that never got made. So then they decided to turn it into a comic book, and it was it was kind of cool how they put this foreword over the script pages, so you could see a little bit of what was written down and you could see some of Jim Henson's notes in the script. Um, but as you, and you also, I guess the first page is like him behind a camera, but then there's also these sketches laid into it, which is really a really cool, uh, panel. So it's, it's a realistic, it's a photograph of Jim Henson, Looking through the camera lens or, or surveying the scene in front of this camera and all of his actors, the three main characters in this story, Tale of Sand, are standing around as if like, um, you know, just, we're just standing around waiting like for the next cue. Like they're just for, yeah. But, but they're, they're, drawn, they're drawn cartoons. <laughs> and very realistic looking. But it, cart, but not like human, not like photorealistic. No, but very a lot of detail to him. A lot of detail. I can't, I can't get over. I love the costuming of everybody, but the main character is he. I don't know. Like I just love that shirt sleeves and collar and and that scruffy hair. I I, I think the mm. main character is the coolest looking dude with those rolled up pants. <laughs> yeah, we don't see the rolled yeah, up pants here, cuff but cuff in the pants. Yeah, but you do in what I'll call is the first real page so there's a page where there's still some script and then there's like these two long panels of scenery but two in two different kind of artistic styles too one's a little more detailed and one's a little more cartoony um but then we open on the first page that it's it's just chaos it's not but it's organized chaos 
Oh, you're talking there's after like, the forward. After the forward, there's a page where you see, like, you just look at the whole page all at once. Like, I can't even imagine going panel by panel because it's not even really broken down by conventional panels. But it's got like a Coca Cola, a corner of a Coca Cola sign, and it's got his eyes, and it's got he's walking in a group, and there's a clock, and there's a music playing, and each panel is in like its own different artistic style. Like I've never seen anything quite like it. It it like evokes chaos, but it shows the setting and it shows the characters and it's a good time, but it's suspicion and what's going on. It's neat. And there it's, it's a great way to open up and just like showcase the art style. Well there's and all... everything you're gonna see. Yeah, there's there's yeah, so it's this town where where our our character is invited into and you see bits of uh Jim Henson's script like nailed to a old fence post or something and it's yeah. all burnt up and old and then you hear like you hear music. I'm I'm hearing music when I see this and you see the music notes in the air floating on top of blue blobs of of sound. Mm-hmm. Blue and pink yeah. and, and 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 very light light blue blobs of sound. And and it's bubbly and it's popping and you're and walking into this town. Some of the panels are just like are black and white, and some of them are kind of like a red scale, and they got like a yellow background. Or some are just he, he the main character is like uh, uh, ske- n- sketched in a different style than some of these other characters. But I I, I do like they the, you're right. There are some scripts of the original thing, and they do a good job in this of like layering that in, but not really revealing too much at the same time. Oh, yeah. it's so cool. So I'm looking at the screen on the. We, yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna do a little back and forth here because I'm looking at the screen, mm-hmm. and now I'm gonna dig out my. Uh, so that that uh, that scene that we're looking at is actually. A full page. No, no, yeah. So, so yeah. The first, the first one is a full page. It's mm-hmm. a two-page splash page of chaos set up. The next page, yeah. and is, this is is similar, but uh, more on the bright scale, and you see a little bit more context of maybe what's going on. Again, it's two pages inside of the physical copy, and it's full. It's two pages on in, in on the digital as well. Mm-hmm. So you see p- some music playing, some trumpets, some trombones. People are dancing. There's a girl with a balloon. And, like, each panel is layered over each other and in a different art style. But everything's really detailed. And sometimes things are more cartoonish. I I don't know. This was... It, it was like, what is going on? What is going on? So he is he is inside of this world and... He has questions, and and the and the art here, and almost the entirety of this book is 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 silent. There is there are word yeah, bubbles, no and, dialogue. We, and we do have or some very dialogue, little. very little dialogue, but it's just it's just told with like subtle eye movements. And our main character, who is in black and white on a field of yellow people, mm-hmm. he's got like suspicious eyes, suspi- like. Everyone's having a good time, but I don't know what I'm like. Uh, not me. Not me. Why am I here? Look at the yeah. trombone player with the monkey on his shoulder and the monkeys playing cymbals. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's so. But and and there, you're right. There's no dialogue, and I don't even know if our main character ever has dialogue. Oh, you're right. No, no, he we'll he does. He said he, he he says map. <laughs> with a question mark eventually he does <laughs> yeah okay so, so then we get another page of like more party but this each one of these two page splash pages looks different even though within it has so much different type of chaos you re- it more is revealed like okay this is a party you 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 kind of see the scale of the party you saw the location you see our main character now in this one his reluctance, like there's a guy who puts his arm around him and is like pretty drunk, and then like a girl grabs his arm and tries to dance. 
Yeah, and all the while the music is thumping, beating. You, there's, there's there's trumpets and trombones, beers. Be-